Sodom Ryan worse than anybody. All the words they were teaching him were things to stay away from. There weren't any words like strawberry or kiss. You could tell he really liked this girl who worked there. But she just smiled at him. He started to think that he knew. He knew that nobody looked at him like a normal kid. People either laughed at him or felt sorry for him. But he couldn't do anything about it. He was trapped. I couldn't sleep. I hadn't slept since New York. I would lie there and think about Mrs. Calder, and I'd think about Ryan, and I felt things tight in my chest. I felt like I was drowning. There's all this sadness, and there's nothing you can do about it. And all I wanted was for it to go away. I say I don't remember that day, I'm not lying. Wish I could remember, but I don't. At least not the stuff they want me to. Maybe it makes sense now. Maybe somewhere in all of this, there's a reason. Maybe somewhere in all of this, there's a why. Maybe somewhere there's that thing that lets you tie it all up with a neat bow and bury it in the backyard. But nothing. Not getting angry, not prayers and not tears. Nothing can make something that happened unhappen. You know I'm sorry, don't you, Pearl? I do. I know you are. It doesn't change anything. I'm sorry. The worst part is knowing that there is goodness in people. Mostly it stays deep down and buried. Maybe we don't have God because we're scared of the bad stuff. Maybe we're really scared of the good stuff. Because if there's no God, well, that means it's inside of us and we could be good all the time if we wanted. So when we do bad things, it'd be because we want to, or because we have to. Or maybe we just need the bad stuff to remind us what the good stuff is in the first place. What are you doing, you goofball? Let's we'll go around. Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Don't go racing when you're on. 